Uh, I'm Jadine Lannan, and this is Netha Hussein, we'll be co-presenting. Our topic is um, towards bridging the gender gap in the Indian community. Uh, Netha is a very active Indian editor. She's been involved with Wikipedia since 2011. She's, sorry, 2010. Uh, she's also pretty much the unofficial face of the gender gap in India. I myself have just done uh, research on the gender gap in the Indian community as a part of my undergraduate research, and we decided that we would co-present together. We are presenting somewhat separate presentations. I'll be going first, and she'll be following me up. Um, both of our presentations are somewhat long, so we may not have a lot of time for questions, so please do feel free to approach us afterwards or at any other time during the conference. So, uh, do you want to get started? Okay, let's go. Yeah, you'll be, you're controlling the slides. Oh, all right. All right. Um, I'll be starting off by presenting the first and second sections of this presentation. And all of this is based on my own research. Netha will be following me up again with the third and fourth sections, which are based on her own experiences and the learnings she's taken away while working with the editing community in, at the editing, sorry, and Wikimedia community in India. Uh, my research focused only on Wikipedia, where hers is on um, Wikimedia as a whole. Next slide. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to give you a brief summary of the research that I carried out in India. Um, all of the, all of this, sorry, everything that I present here uh, comes from a small research project that I carried out in India over a two-month period. During this time, I carried out 15 interviews with Indian female Wikipedians from various Indic language communities. These interviews took place mostly in person, but sometimes over Skype and by email. In these interviews, I asked the women a series of questions about their experience as editors, their experiences interacting with other editors, and, their, uh, and with other Wikimedians in the Wikipedian community at large, and what they perceive to be as the largest challenges and barriers that prevent Indian women from participating in the editing of Wikipedia. Uh, I want to point out just quickly that this is a very small and limiting sample size and it can't be generalized or applied to the whole of the female editing, editing population and the female Indian population at large. This research is simply a brief foray into the subject and can really function more as a starting point for further, more profound research than as a comprehensive or representative explanation of why there is such low participation rate of Indian women in the editing of Wikipedia in India. Further, I myself am still an undergraduate student, and this is my first primary research project, so I'm not a very highly experienced academic or researcher. Having said that, I do think my findings are quite interesting, and uh, it gives us something to think about when we're really considering the complexities of the gender gap on Wikipedia. So what has past research told us? Um, a lot of you have seen all of these contentions before, so I'm not going to read them out to you. You can read them while I'm going over this. The reason I chose to include this brief summary in this presentation is because I really don't think these contentions t tell the whole story, and particularly not for all women who edit Wikipedia everywhere. Much of the research that has been done on the general editing population uh, is mostly comprised of opinions and viewpoints from Western middle-class Caucasians with post-secondary education and more often than not, a bit of technical knowledge. So they can be limiting when, the, when they're applied to different populations of women. This is actually my main motivation for the research I ended up carrying out in India. So then, on, on to my findings. What are the factors that prevent Indian women from editing Wikipedia? I've divided the barriers into two main groups, barriers that manifest outside of Wikipedia. Thank you and uh, barriers that are directly related to Wikipedia, which are more likely to affect Indian women once they've attempted to participate in, in Wikipedia. So we'll start with the first group, time. Like many people who edit, finding the time to put towards contributing to Wikipedia is difficult for all of the women I talk to. This was particularly an issue for women who were active in offline Wikipedia activities, which was the majority of my sample size, as they simply could not find enough time to contribute to Wikipedia uh, in the offline and online world simultaneously. Some participants pointed out that they were more active on other Wikimedia projects like Commons because they simply didn't have enough time to create content or edits and then defend those contents and edits. Access. Having access to the right tools and infrastructure to be able to contribute to Wikipedia is a huge issue. To begin, having access to the internet is the largest barrier that a lot of women face. Only 10% of all Indian households have internet access and only 1% of Indian households have broadband access. Even if the... One second. 
<laughs> Even if the uh, family does have internet access, they often have a shared family computer, and this scheme doesn't work out to allow w women to have a lot of access, which I'm going to discuss in a little bit. All of the women that I interviewed or worked with used a personal laptop to edit, which is very rare for Indian women in general. Next. Uh, women just don't know it's an editable space, and this, almost every woman that I talked to said that before they had been explicitly told that, edit that Wikipedia was an editable space, they had no idea. And if women don't know it's an editable space, they will never become editors. Cultural aspects. This is a very, very large bar barrier, so I'm just going to go over it fairly quickly. Um, to begin, in India, women disproportionately have less t free time than men. And this is because women tend to be responsible for the majority, if not all, of all of the, of the household and child care labor. Uh, further, as more and more women enter the workforce across India, Indian women are, uh, excuse me, women, Indian women are increasingly carrying the double load of, of their professional and familial responsibilities, which leaves little time for any hobby, let alone ed editing Wikipedia. In addition, access to the family computer is often preferential, preferentially given to male children in the family. Where, uh, where girls' activities online and on the computer are perceived to be useless or a waste of time, male child activities on the computer are perceived to be useful, educational, or, or an accepted form of recreation. Indian parents are also likely to restrict or at least stringently mon monitor their daughter's access to computers and the internet in the desire to protect women from being preyed upon online and, and from consuming bad media like pornography. Uh, female children are also, also bear a larger household burden as they're often um, they're often required to help their mothers with child care labor and, and taking care of the household responsibilities. So that's that. Uh, for those barriers that take place within Wikipedia, I've mentioned four from the research. There's a fair amount of overlap between them, but I've tried to separate them out into useful categories. Uh, the first two are quick. I'm sure you've heard of them before. Uh, a lack of social interaction with, editors, with other editors was uh, a large barrier for Indian women. Uh, it's also a one of the major themes that came up in the research was the importance of having friendly interactions and, if possible, friendships with other editors. Having friendly relationships and friendships with other editors was one of the main motivating factors that a lot of my participants quoted. A lack of social interaction with other editors was stated as being a major off-putting aspect of Wikipedia, and one editor even reported wanting to quit Wikipedia after six months because she found she was uncomfortable with the unsociable nature of other editors. The lack of editor-to-editor -editor support structures for new editors is a really big issue. Um, in my small sample size, interaction with other editors, especially as a new editor, was an important factor in determining, in determining future enthusiasm for, dedication to, and perseverance on Wikipedia. Many participants re reported receiving a lot of support from either a friend who was also an editor, or an editor that they didn't know socially but had taken the time to show them the ropes. This established editor-new editor relationship was established when the established editor commented on, changed, or flagged their edit for deletion or reversion, and then took the time to help to explain to the new editor why they had done so. A lot of interviewees reported that they, they found this very, very motivating as a new editor because they felt that Wikipedia was this wonderful, open, and welcoming place where they were free to make mistakes and learn from them. Uh, just one more comment. Uh, other participants who had, not who had not received support from a new editor, from editors when they were new, were less likely on average to be involved in community mailing lists and IRC chats, and less likely to interact with other editors on the, on the whole throughout their entire editing career. Um, this is a, a bit of a difficult one, and it's also one of my larger points. I'll try to go over it fairly quickly. It's really hard to sum up in the time that I have, but basically, being a member of any of these groups, being a newbie, having a low edit count, or being from a minority subpopulation of Wikipedia, basically not being a Western um, male editor, uh, can really act against you on Wikipedia, particularly if you're new and something else. Um, many participants pointed out that some well-established editors, particularly those on the English language Wikipedia, treated Wikipedia as their own pet project that could be damaged or ruined by new editors. This already set older Wikipedians' teeth on edge and led to harsher treat treatments of new editors and their edits, contents, and opinions. This is compounded by issues related to notability and a deletionist -ish attitude, particularly in the context of new female Indian editors. 
For example, a handful of participants shared anecdotes about workshops and edit-a-thons they had run that specif specifically targeted women and often generated content that was India-specific or related to women or both. At multiple events, the women found that the content that was being created by these new editors was being reverted or nominated for speedy deletion almost as soon as it went up on Wikipedia. Women also pointed out issues with having a low edit count, particularly if you were a woman editor. Edit count appears to be treated by some established editors as an indication of experience and ability on Wikipedia. And having a low edit count can call into questions one position as an insider and lessen the legitimacy of one edits and opinions. One participant felt that gender played an interesting role in this, as being female made her part of a minority population on Wikipedia, which already called into question her legitimacy as an insider. This, she felt, then played into how harshly her edit count was viewed by other editors. She felt that the criticism against her were not based on gender, but, by, but on, on her edit count, and that her edit count was looked at more harsher because, uh, in, sorry, it was looked at in a, at a, in a harsher light because she, as a woman on Wikipedia, was already an outsider. Indian women may face a double dose of this outsider perception, especially on English language Wikipedia, because they belong to two minority subpopulations on Wikipedia. They are Indian and female. Further, Indian women on, in general may have a, a smaller edit count than other, than other editors who have been editing for the same amount of time because on average they have less free time. Uh, and my, other, my fourth point is conflict, uh, and not just real conflict, perceived conflict. Um, and it, it really, conflict on Wikipedia really plays into how current female editors in India interact with Wikipedia and other editors. Most of my editors reported that they chiefly interacted with editors within their own language or friendship community, who they knew fairly intimately. I wouldn't post to any of the larger mailing lists or contribute to big discussions because they simply didn't want to get involved into any conflict. Interestingly enough, while most of my participants had never personally experienced a conflictual or contentious interaction with another editor, all these editors said that this was because they were low visibility editors on English Wikipedia. That is to say, when they did edit, they felt that the content or edits that they were adding to Wikipedia were of low relevancy to the wider English language editing community. When I asked my participants if they felt that women were targeted when women contributed to contentious high visibility, sorry, contentious or high visibility articles or articles related to feminism or gender, all of my participants said that yes, women were targeted when they contributed to these articles and that none of my, and that they, sorry, my participants were not willing to contribute to these articles because they didn't want to be involved in any, any uh, conflict. This means that Indian women's voices and perspectives are missing in some of the spaces on Wikipedia where a plurality of experiences and viewpoints should appear. So on to my recommendations. I'm gonna go really quickly because I think I'm running out of time. Uh, most of these recommendations, Recommendations apply to the Indian editing population, but I've also come up with three recommendations for the population at large. All of these are, again, are based on my research. So these are the ones that are specific to India. Workshops and outreach are just really, really important. A lot of my participants were brought into Wikipedia by uh, workshops and outreach programs. Women-only workshops are really important because um, women felt that they were more, that women were more um, comfortable asking questions and expressing that they didn't know things when in a women-specific space instead of in a mixed gender space. Targeting specific communities and groups can be a, a really effective way of, of bringing in new women because you're uh, finding them in already established communities. So an example of groups and spaces that are women-specific in India are dance classes, cooking classes, and sports, team, sports teams. Educating the parents may be really useful um, because parents that are wary of Wikipedia will not let, or tend to not let their women, their daughters participate with it. So, offering outreach, outreach sessions that teach both women and their parents about Wikipedia may be quite effective. Uh, online sessions may be a way to reach women who face restrictions on their ability uh, to freely move around or attend physical meetups. Allowing women to participate in a comfortable physical space like their homes may also encourage more women to participate. Having offline meetups and community activities is incredibly important for reasons that I can't go over. But I'm just gonna stress again that building friendships with other editors was consistently stated as being a major motivating factor for my interviewees. And having offline meetups is a very effective way of, of uh, building friendships for Indian women. Increasing support for new editors is really, really important. Uh, Wikipedia in India may benefit from an adopt a newbie program where editors are directly approached by established editors who then help that new editor learn the ropes. 
initiatives like Tea House are really, really useful, but they require, they depend on a um, newbie initiative to go out and ask for help. I think it would be more effective if established editors reached out to, in, to new editors. Uh, my other berries are, uh, go on next one. <laughs> I'm not gonna go over these because Nathan needs some time to talk. Yeah. Uh, You're just, already short of time, yeah, so sorry about that. maybe I'll. Um, okay. Tell readers that Wikipedia is an editable space. Stop biting the newbies, just stop it because you're telling them that Wikipedia is a non-inclusive space. Um, and move away from the deletionist culture because uh, when we, when established editors nominate for deletion or revert a newer stub article, particularly when that content was created by a newer minority editor, it's really discouraging for that editor. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yep, uh, thanks. So, uh, in the next few slides, I'm going to quickly take you through the activities which we conducted in India, in India to encourage the participation of women. So, it's like uh, for the last three years, we have been doing lots of activities and uh, we have learned so much from it and we are trying to conduct lots, of, lots and lots of programs. So, uh, my talk will be more based on my experience with working with the Wikimedia community than like an academic research as done by Jai. So, uh, uh, in India, we conducted uh, a wiki conference 2011, which I think is the first solid step which we took towards addressing the gender gap. We really had a single, like a, a single track on uh, issue, to discuss issues related to gender gap, and we had presentations and discussions and uh, panels to talk about it. So uh, we essentially discussed three questions: like, uh, do Indian women contributors have different experiences from male contributors? Like, uh, the panel thought that the women contributors do really have a very different experience because most of the women thought that they need to edit Wikipedia because uh, of the volunteering thing, while uh, most of the male contributors probably edited Wikipedia because uh, they want their voice to be heard by a wider audience. Of course, we will not know it for sure unless we conduct some sort of research and stuff, but uh, the panel thought like that. And next was that how will having more women editors shape Wikimedia's content? The panel thought that more uh, having more women editors will bring in the, bring in a lot of diversity of opinion because uh, the same issue could be perceived differently by men and women. So having more women editors will be like having a diversity of opinion and it will help us to build a complete encyclopedia. And about the barriers faced by Indian women in editing Wikipedia, it has already been done by Jai, so I'm skipping it. Mm, then we did edit thorns. Edit thorns are like, you know, uh, people come together and sit together and edit about a particular topic. So this really helped women because we created a friendly space for women to become acquainted with Wikipedia. And uh, we often, when, when we conducted edit thorns, we conducted separate sessions for women uh, where women editors could guide them. Uh, we thought that women editors, women are more likely to, fin to be influenced if they are guided by other women because uh, women uh, feel, feel sort of connected to other women. And uh, uh, so the participants are more likely to ask questions and the participants are more likely to interact if the facilitators are women. And we also had online and offline events simultaneously because uh, um, uh, India being having, uh, we, we, have lot, uh, we have lots of places, I mean, India is really a big, big country and we cannot bring everybody together. So uh, whenever we conducted an offline event, we also conducted simultaneous online events at different places where people could actually join us online on Wikipedia and uh, collaborate with the offline group. So it really helped us to overcome the geographical barrier. Uh, we conducted workshops which targeted different populations. So uh, sometimes we go to colleges and we talk about Wikipedia and we help them how to, uh, we tell them how to edit. Or sometimes we go to uh, some uh, journalists or sometimes we go to bloggers. So we, we used to have, uh, we used to target different populations at different times and we used to teach them how to edit Wikipedia. So in such workshops we actually demonstrated the stuff because uh, some people told that it's really very difficult for them to learn to edit on their own. So uh, we uh, sat down with them and we really conducted the editing session in such a way that they could ask questions and we could demonstrate how to edit. Uh, then follow-up and collection of feedback was really very important because that was how we could know what we did was really effective or not. So uh, we really had really wonderful feedbacks from people and, uh, and there are lots of participants who are actually editing Wikipedia just because of these workshops. I would quickly like to give a few more recommendations on what I think can be done in India to improve the gender gap situation in India. Uh, when, when I looked up uh, stuff for uh, Presenting, uh, presenting this talk, I really found that there are absolutely no research about women editing Wikipedia in India. 
this is particularly, tr particularly true about the global south in general, or maybe uh, women in general, because uh, there has been too few research which has been done about women. So I think we can like uh, improve the situation by funding a lot of research projects. We have wonderful uh, grant projects like the individual engagement grants, or there are certain international organizations which would be which would really be like uh, would give give you grants if you are actually interested in conducting research projects related to Wikipedia. And also, uh, it's not enough that we, we have the money. We also need other resources and the manpower. So we can actually target the research students and ask them to conduct research about uh, Wikipedia's, uh, Wikipedia and women so that we actually can define the problem and later try to find out the solution for it. Uh, and some people tell me that they cannot relate with the culture of Wikipedia. So uh, it's really important that we feel, uh, we make the women feel welcoming into the culture. So uh, for which uh, I think the projects like the Tea House and the Wiki Women Collaborative are really doing a very good thing. Uh, so uh, we can actually uh, ask the new newcomer editors to join uh, the Tea House and ask them to interact with the existing editors and we may assign a mentor to them or we may adopt that user or we can um, help them feel like uh, being a part of the community and encourage their participation. Uh, then it would be useful to connect the new, newbies with the experienced Wikimedian women so that uh, the newbies can al always ask questions and ask for guidance to the Wikimedian women and if at all they uh, happen to come across any assault or any um, bad, bad, uh, problems so they can uh, ask the Wikimedian woman for help. And it would be always good to connect a cohort of newbies with each other so that they can share their problems among each other and uh, try to improve the situation. And it's very important that we also share our positive personal experiences about Wikipedia so that uh, um, uh, the, new, the newcomers really feel welcome and they feel like, oh, Wikipedia is really a good place to start with. Uh, in India, in certain places, we have the school wiki clubs where uh, we go to schools and we conduct Wikipedia clubs. So students, they uh, sort of uh, have an informal gathering and uh, they sit together and they edit Wikipedia uh, on subjects like uh, subjects which are of importance to their academics. So in conducting Wikipedia for schools, it's really important that we ensure the participation of both boys, both boys and girls. And we should also be careful not to limit them to their traditional gender knowledge. Like uh, we should not be telling them to uh, edit particular articles because of their gender, or we should not be directive. Like uh, we should be letting them to choose whichever article they want to choose, they want to edit. Uh, one particular problem in India is that we have lots of languages and uh, most women, some women I met told that uh, they do not edit Wikipedia because they do not know English. Actually, uh, there has been too less awareness in India about Wikipedia's existing in various Indian languages because they are too small. Either they have too less articles and they have too less editors. So uh, not many people are, are aware that there are articles, uh, there are Indian language Wikipedias. So people tell me that it's, it's they, they do not edit Wikipedia because they do not know English. So to solve this problem, we could raise awareness of the Indic language Wikimedia projects in the workshops. Also, uh, most of the people have very difficulty in typing their mother tongue. Uh, most of the Indians use the uh, keyboard, which is uh, almost which is in, which is in English, and there are certain people who find it difficult to uh, use English. So uh, it would be really good if we can conduct some sessions to help them to type in their mother tongue, uh, which is uh, actually very difficult, but we can still try for it and uh, raise the awareness of Indic language Wikimedia projects. Again, there are people uh, who, uh, are, uh, who, who can speak both English and another Indian language, so we can ask them to translate stuff from English to uh, their particular mother tongue so that uh, mm, uh, we can improve the content of articles in that particular language. So the very difficult question I always encounter from Indian women is that, why should I edit Wikipedia? So there are lots of reasons I give them, but the reasons which I give specific to Indian women Wikipedians is that Wikimedia, Wikipedia allows you to work indoors. Uh, in India, mobility is really an issue. Uh, if you are a woman, you are not allowed to be uh, going outside in the night. Of course, you can go alone. You, you can go, uh, go outside, but you cannot go without the help of your male uh, guardian or so. So, and it's, it's also difficult to be able to travel to uh, a long distance. So Wikipedia doesn't involve you to want to travel a lot. So you can sit in your home, you can become with your family and you can start editing. 
uh, then uh, I tell them that Wikipedia utilizes mental strength and not the physical strength. Uh, uh, in India, there's this particular stereotype that women are not suitable for physical work. So some people think that uh, if, if, if a job involves physical work, it's not meant for them. So I tell them that Wikipedia only utilizes your mental strength, so you are at par with everyone, every other editor, so uh, it, you, you can feel equal to everybody. Then it's like Wikipedia is a meritocracy. You you uh, don't really uh, you, your contributions are based uh, you, your worth is based on what you're contributing to the moment. So it's uh, your gender doesn't come to count. Like uh, if if, uh, if your opinion on Wikipedia is largely based uh, your your opinion the opinions which you give on Wikipedia is per uh, is accepted based on your contributions to the moment about uh, how good it is and not just based on your gender. Then it's like, no, I tell them that you should edit Wikipedia because there's not enough women-centric content there. Uh, uh, in, uh, there. There are uh, lots of women, uh, there are lots of famous women in India who's, who, who, who do not have articles on their own. There are, st uh, there are lots of women-centric stuff which still needs representation on Wikipedia, which still needs expansion. So I tell them that you should edit Wikipedia because uh, you have a superpower, you know about certain women, so you should write about them. And finally, I tell them that because your voice is really important, your perspective should be heard. While you should stick to the neutral point of view, while, should, while you should be very precise about what you're telling, it's important that your voice should also be heard. So I think if you have any questions, oh, we will, we'll take questions. We have like one minute. We have like one minute. <laughs> um, before the Q&A section, may I know Ms. Emily Temple here? Oh yeah. Hi, uh, thanks, this was really interesting. Um, uh, one of the, the ideas that you guys brought up um, was that uh, these newcomers should uh, not have to be expected to find spaces like the tea house, that, that they should be found when they need help, not uh, know where to go when they need help. Um, how, how can we do that? How do you guys envision that process? Do you wanna take that one? Should I? Uh, okay, you can go for it. Okay. Uh, First of all, it's not that I don't, ex so that was uh, brought up, I think, mo mostly in my presentation. It's not that I, I don't expect that, you know, we should have these structures out there, support structures for new editors. I think that they're really effective and I think they're really useful. I just don't think that they're enough. So having them there will help a lot of editors when they come on. But if we really want to effectively reach out to those editors that we're obviously missing now that are coming onto Wikipedia and disappearing, we need, uh, I think, new editors. We need established editors to reach out to new editors. And I think the, effect, the most effective way to do that would be the adopt a, adopt a newbie program, honestly. If there's any way, and I'm not very techie, and I'm, I'm also very new to Wikipedia, so I'm not sure how the tech part of this works, but if there could be uh, some kind of internal list that is made up every week or every month of, when, of new usernames that are registered, and if new editor or if established editors were willing to go through that list and pick a couple of editors and then connect to them on their talk pages and reach out to them and offer them help or go and look at some of the edits that these new editors have made and go and then you know sort of go through them with the new editor and say mm, maybe this is a bit of an issue this is where you've missed a guideline i think that's one of the most effective ways both to motivate editors and to just to teach them to be more, to, to increase their capacity as editors. And this will take a lot of work from established editors, but on the on long term, it creates a more plural, uh, it, it increases plurality on Wikipedia and increases the capacity of a large population of editors. So do you have anything else? Yep, I think, I think that's it. Okay. okay. Any more questions? <laughs> yeah, all right, that sounds great. <laughs> Um, any more questions? We can have one more question. If not, then we can move on to another se section. Uh, maybe this is a little bit broader question because I feel that a lot of the issues that uh, that you mentioned 
uh, is deeply rooted in the cultural yes, issues. Yes, it's yes. not just what can we do on Wikipedia or within yes. the Wikimedia community. It's more about the entire culture of getting more girls educated, yes. encourage more girls to be on the internet, and educating the parents that they should send more girls to schools yes. and allow girls to play on the computers. Mm -hmm. Is there, um, I don't know if this is within the scope of this discussion, but um, I feel there should be a bigger movement about that, not just within the wiki community of what can we do on Wikipedia. It's more rooted, deep, more deeply rooted in the culture. I don't know if anybody is <laughs> thinking about that. Actually, uh, uh, simultaneously in different projects, like whether it be Wikipedia or whether it be different op open knowledge projects or whether it be uh, women's groups. So uh, this is something which should happen simultaneously everywhere. So we cannot make a change just because we change Wikipedia. But we can definitely change the approach of Wikipedia towards women. We can make it a more friendly space so that lots of women turn up uh, to edit Wikipedia. And also, it's also about the outreach. So when you go for outreach, there are certain cultural factors which you have to look into, because certain things which work in India may not work in the West. So uh, considering the cultural factors, you have to modify the outreach programs in such a way that there's a lot of women who are turning up there. Uh, and it's not something we, which we can change within Wikipedia alone. So it has got a broader perspective. So I think uh, in the last few years, Indian women have made a lot of progress. Like uh, uh, they have, uh, there are awesome women who are doing lots of good stuff on uh, various international projects. And there are lots of women who are, uh, who are on the top of certain companies. They are CEOs and they are doing awesome stuff. So I'm, I'm expecting that in the coming few years, the gender gap, the gender barrier will really break down. The cultural issues will really be lax so that uh, we can encourage more participation of Indian women in uh, Wikipedia. And again, it's that we have like one billion people in our country. It's more than more than a one billion people. So it's like half of them are women. So we have got a lot of potential to tap in India. So if we can design our outreach programs and activities, uh, directing them, there's so much that we can benefit out of it. Thank you very much. And then we'll welcome uh, Ms. Emily Temple. Yes, thank you. 